What's up, everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School. And no, we're not going to be talking about the Springfield Hellcat today. I know you see that's what I'm holding, but we're actually going to be talking about the excess big dot sights. Welcome back everybody. And like I said, no, we are not talking about the Springfield Hellcat. We're actually talking about the excess big dot sights that I've added to this thing. Uh, reason I added them is, it's about, to me, they're about like having a red dot on the gun. All right, this is my everyday carry gun. You can talk shit if you want to, I really don't care. It gets the job done and I feel I'm pretty damn accurate with it. But Big reason I didn't want to put a red dot on here is we have to think about this everyday carry, possibly having to use it to defend ourselves. All right, you're probably not going home with that gun. It's probably gonna go into an evidence locker. So something you need to think about when you start Gucci-fying your guns, or you go and spend two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 on a handgun, if you're gonna carry that for personal protection, self-defense, you need to consider it's probably going in an evidence locker when you use it. So I didn't want to, you know, spend a lot of money on my carry gun as far as adding stuff to it, accessories and things like that. Because we all, well, maybe not all of us, but some of us know that sometimes things can get lost in evidence lockers. Not trying to say anything bad about anybody. I'm just saying sometimes things get lost in evidence locker so i don't want something i've spent two three four five thousand dollars on to be lost in an evidence locker or stuck in an evidence locker because who knows how long that trial could last that trial could last two years two months two weeks i mean or it could be six months, two years, three years before it even goes to trial if it goes that far. But just some things to consider on that aspect, but I'll get off of that soapbox and back to the big dot sites here. All right, I'm telling you, these are like having a red dot on your gun, okay? This, and the great thing about these big dot sites is you're pretty much, you dot the eye. So just like you see in the poster back here over my right shoulder is you're dotting the eye. So when you're looking at these things, you're dotting the eye, all right? I know it might be hard to see. I'll put some pictures up there, but you're just, you're dotting. There's a little eye on your rear sight here, all right? It's a little white uh, reflective strip. So it's not anything that's gonna overpower that front sight, that front sight, I'm telling you, you're gonna grab this thing quick. And now you've got green tritium or you have an orange tritium. I went with the orange, to me it tends to pop a little bit better, right? And they do absorb ambient and sunlight. So in low light or no light conditions, I mean, that thing just, it pops. You know where that thing's at. So that's why I say it's, it's, about like having a red dot on your gun. Now, if you're not a fan of red dots, this is a great option. Or if you're a newer shooter or novice shooter, and you're trying to get a little bit better on your accuracy and your fundamentals, this is something that I would recommend. So I know sometimes having to line up front and rear sights can be a little confusing, especially for newer shooters. This is, again you're dotting the eye that is it all right this thing measures at 0 0.188 inches i believe is what it measures at i mean this thing's big like i said i'll i'll have a picture up so you can kind of see it a little bit better than what i showed in the screen um as you see i slid to the side trying to i don't like pointing this thing at me even though you know we can see that 
everything is unloaded and clear. It's just not something that I, I like to do. But I have thoroughly enjoyed these things. You know, I've been looking at adding these to my gun for some time now. And I finally, you know, went ahead and got these things ordered. So highly, highly recommend these things to anybody. Newer shooters, experienced shooters, these things will definitely change how you're picking up your front sight. And it's got a V on the rear sight, a low profile V. And again, it's just a white strip, you're dotting the eye. So nothing is overpowering that front sight. All right, this is CNC machined, so it's not composite plastic. It, you, when you take these things out and get ready to put them on, you can feel they, they are CNC machined, it is metal. It's not anything that's gonna crack or anything like that. I mean, these things are very, very well made. The other great thing about these, they're gonna fit standard holsters. You don't have to change your holster or anything crazy like that. The Tritium comes with a 12 year warranty and the sights in general come with a 30 day money back guarantee. So what, why? Why not? Or why not? Why not? I'm telling you. I mean, just bringing. It's just right. It's right there when you bring it up. It is just. It's. It's there. I mean, you can't miss it. Honestly, I, I'll be honest. I still am learning red dots. I'm trying to get better with them, but I already can tell. I'm. I'm picking this up a little bit quicker than put when I pick up my red dot. So this is a great, great option. You're, you're not gonna be disappointed. Now, what I have on here, I say they're big dot sites. These are the DXW2 big dot sites that I've added on here. I know I talked about the big dot sites, but it's their DXW2 big dot sites that I've added on here. And they have them for more than just Springfield. They got them for, I think just about any manufacturer out there from what I saw, Canic, Glock, Springfield, SIG. So, and these are some that I'm probably gonna be adding on to my wife's P365. I think this will really help her out a lot too. So there's, the more of these are gonna be getting added on to a lot of my handguns. I, I mean, they just, it's just there. I mean, you bring it up and it's just there. So don't do yourself a disservice and not put these on your gun. Highly, highly, highly recommend these. The other great thing is talked with them and I'm an affiliate. So SCGS 10, when you go and purchase, I will have their website up uh, somewhere on the screen here along with my discount. So accesssites.com. SCGS 10 when you go to the checkout. And not just handgun, they've got rifle, they've got shotgun. So it's not just your handguns. They've got them for each platform. Um, right now it's been my handgun, it's been my main focus. I'll be working on getting these on to probably one or two of my rifles. And I know for a fact, I'm definitely gonna be adding these onto my shotgun. I'll do update videos with those as well too. And installing these things are not complicated. So don't think you've got to be a gunsmith to install, install these things. Uh, you will, I will say you'll need a good vice, all right? You'll need a hammer and a punch. But as far as instructions and stuff, instructions are gonna come with it. Um, and they've also got videos on their website for you to go in and watch videos as well too. So. These weren't overly complicated to install. Um, I'm not gonna go through and so show you all that stuff on what I did and everything. You can go to their website and look that or their YouTube page and look that up. But very simple. There wasn't really, there's nothing you have to, the only thing I had to do was the rear sights and I had to do it a little bit with the front sight. They didn't quite want to just kind of slide in i really didn't want to sit there don't don't sit there and hammer on these things like thor okay the, what they show you to do is have a little file and you're just dragging it up the file all right and just drag it up drag it back down 
that should be all you need to do. And again, that's in their, their video is absolutely phenomenal. It'll walk you through it step by step. They're going to send you everything that you're going to need to get these things installed outside of your hammer, your punch, and your vise. As far as the, because uh, there's little screws back here with the rear sight that you just kind of very lightly tighten down to help hold it in place while you're getting everything set up. So they're going to send you everything that you're going to need, again, outside of the hammer, the punch, and a vise. Um, I, you're you're, you're going to need a vise. I would highly recommend having a vise. Don't think you got to have some big heavy duty vise. All right, I got a little cheapo vise that just screws into the edge of the table that I use when I'm doing some of this stuff. Now, there are other things that you would do where it might need a bigger vise, but you will need a good vise. And don't think your buddy coming in with super hand strength is going to sit there and hold it. You're going to need a vise, hammer, punch. That's it. Everything else will be sent to you. So please, folks, go check these things out. All right, xssites.com, xssitesam.com, xssites.com, and use my code SCGS10, just like South Carolina Gun School abbreviated, SCGS10, and you'll get a discount when you check out. Promise, you won't be disappointed. Now, once you go and get those, after you go and get them on your gun, go and say, get yourself signed up for some training and start to learn to become more proficient with those sights and your handgun. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range. Yeah.